I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm singing in the rain. Let's see, who do we have here today? What, what people do we have in the, his house today? I let them know. Whoever is here, you say hello, you say what's up, and I hope that you all are having a good and an awesome day because I'm having an okay day as well. You know, because it's five days to Christmas. Five days till Christmas, and it's going to be a wonderful holiday because you have family, and that's what you need. Family and the holidays. Holidays and family. That's what that that's what you need. That's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. I hope you guys can hear me correctly. I don't know, and I don't want you to be like, oh, we can barely hear you. So I hope you guys can hear me. So I don't know who's in here because I don't see anybody typing in the chat. I don't see anybody typing in the chat. You know. I wanna I want I wanna see some. Some action going on in chat. I want to see some action. So I'm looking over here on my side screen. You know, see, see who we got. Cause says, I said we got six people here. Say, personas we have. We have six people. You know, and, and we got to keep the thing rolling. We're gonna keep the thing rolling, rolling along, rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's see here, ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. So, guys, who is ready for Christmas? Who is ready for Christmas? Who's ready for Feliz Navidad? I don't know if any, anybody's chatting because I I don't see nothing going on here. You know, it's like. So, okay, now I have it. Right, now I see. I had to refresh, refresh. Okay, so we have Joker Enigma. What's up? What's up, Joker? Uh, we got Joshua. Always a pleasure, Joshua. We have Veronica. Hello, hola. I know who you are. Uh, did you, uh, Orville? Consider. Did you know you were going to live stream? What's up, man? Did not you? Well, you know, I didn't go. I didn't live stream yesterday because I went to go see the Star Wars movie. So. Yeah, because where I live, the movies come out Thursday instead of Friday. So I went to go see Star Wars. So I'm not going to tell you guys uh, anything about it. I'm not going to do no spoilers, but I enjoyed the movie a lot. So it's well worth the wait in line. And good waiting, about almost two hours in line to get inside. Uh, let's see, I am ready for Christmas. I am printing gifts off my... Nice! Gifts off the CR10. That is always good, you know. Me, I am printing something. I got some new filament because I uh, still have things I got to print. And unfortunately, another role, another school that I had, another school that I had here, um, I had it closed. It was sealed and everything. I put it in the thing, and it gave me the same issue that the last uh, material was starting to give me. Like it, it, like, it wouldn't go through. It would not go through. So... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to check later after this piece prints. Maybe it's something wrong with the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was clogged or something. So I'm going to make sure to check just in case. Uh, so you know, today, guys, you know, I, I, as you could tell by the title, I'm gonna model something else today because it's every time I go live stream now, I'm gonna be 3D modeling something because now since I've learned, you know, the gist. Uh, 3D modeling, you know, I was like, I, 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 I want to do it during a live stream because at least it gives me something to show you guys. So, and I'm going to show you something, guys, right now. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to see if I can, I can, no, that's not it. That's not what I want to, that's not what I want to show you guys. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, grab a uh, an image here somewhere so we're gonna see I'm gonna show you something that I just recently modeled 
I'm going to show you something I just recently modeled. So hopefully you guys like it. So let's see where, let's see where it is. So for those who don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'm going to show you something I just recently modeled. And I started this, this model last night. I started this sucker last night and it, I finished it today. So let, let, let's see. Oh, where, oh, where is my picture? Okay, here's the picture. Look, look at that, guys. This is my newest model. This is this is this is my newest model right here. The King Tyranno Thunder Dragon Mode helmet. I modeled this helmet, guys. So, uh, anyway, let, let me know what do you guys think. What do you guys think of my take on the King Tyranno Thunder Dragon Mode? So the one I did in, the, in a previous video that you guys saw was actually done by RTJ3D Cosplay, which is my, my friend Robert, all the way in the UK. So this one is mine. Uh, so I ended up starting it sometime after I got home from watching Star Wars. And I was all the, I was up all the way up to about maybe three o'clock in the morning working on it, and then. I woke up this morning, woke up a little late, obviously, because I went to bed late, so I woke up late, and started working on it again, and look at this, look at, look at this thing, look at this helmet, this, this is so nice, imagine this thing being 3D printed, I gotta say, this looks awesome, especially, I, I added like a, a head of a person for it, for, give it like a base, of, you know, that way it gives it a more look, not just the helmet, you see a neck there of a person so you know you get that nice ranger aspect of like it's somebody actually wearing it so this sucker is so nice so beautiful i am very proud of this sucker and i hope because i did tag uh austin st john in this image so hopefully he sees it and says something on a positive note you know i still haven't heard back from him about the whole uh original king tyranno helmet so I'm waiting so that looks uh clean and nice thank you uh i tried to i, I was like a little picky and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now you're using the reference photos that i had they don't really the side image and the front image don't really line up in the same way so i had to like move the image in several different positions trying to get it at the right place where I wanted it that would match up a little bit to the front image and so and I this is what I got after hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of working and modeling and deleting and making more faces more edges more vertices because this is not a sculpt I'm gonna tell you that right now I I I, I don't sculpt these things this is all like working with meshes like starting with one little plane and then the hours and hours of work like I would love to do I try to do um, digital sculpting but I need one of those Wacom um, tablet things because doing it with a mouse who with a mouse nah you get, you'll get carpal tunnel in fact I think I probably already have it because my wrist always hurts the new updates you did look awesome. Yeah, this, this is actually this, this is not even an yeah because this is actually like a 2.0 version because I tried making it before when I first started learning how to do 3D modeling, and instead of working with the original file, I just went up and did it from scratch. Uh, and since I did the the hybrid of the green uh, Green Ranger slash Why um, Dino, you know, I was like, if I can do this one, I can. I most likely can do the other one. So yeah, now we got that. We got that baby. So far, so nice. Uh, and if you do like how this model came out, guys, remember what you gotta do. You gotta smash the like button. Show your support. If you don't like it, still smash that like button. You know, and leave a comment down below. Uh, let's see. That looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. I'm glad you liked this. 
I'm very proud of this model. You know, it's like it's gotten a lot of attention so far on Instagram, and a lot of people have asked, "Oh my, hold on, let me just fix this." I got cables covering the microphone. Uh, you know, so far I have one person co even comment on this, like, "Is this one available? Can we, you know, can we get this one? Is this for up for uh, available for purchase?" So I was like, "Yeah, it's available for purchase if you want one made." I'm not gonna sell the file, but you know, you know, because I, I want to be the only one who possesses the file for right now, for right now. Okay, let's see. Right now, there are only two versions, only two files of the King Tyranno mine, and obviously Roberts. You know, he can see he made one also. So you know, this one is mine. It's, it's so good to say that like, this one is mine. This is this one is mine. This is my hard work paying off, and you know. So. I feel bad for Hua Magabisi's wife. Yeah, I, I I heard the news. I, I read the post and everything. So yeah, I, I, I don't know what's gonna what's gonna go on, what's happening and everything. But you know we gotta gotta see what happens in the long run. So, but yeah, you know this 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 is this is nice. You know. And this thing that we have right here, this 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 beautiful little thing here, you know, I don't know how many of you guys are, you know, back from the '90s and stuff like that, you know, you know, old school, you know, back when you know there were still Saturday morning cartoons, and after school Saturday after school cartoons also because they were. You know, there was the, the kids WB and stuff like that, and there was Fox Kids. So, you know, this is from the Mighty Ducks cartoon series. So, you know, so right now, you know, somebody asked if, you know, somebody commissioned this because they, cause they want to actually cosplay as this character. I don't know if they're going to make a, a duck head or something. Uh, along the lines, I don't know. So, you know, what we're going to be doing is because since he commissioned it, you know, I said, you know, he wanted a shout out and everything. So hopefully he does show up during during the, the live stream because I did tell him I, we, we were going to go be going live. I remember the Mighty Ducks TV show. Yeah, the Mighty Ducks TV show is, was awesome. I, I, I remember watching it and everything. So, you know, he gave me a nice... A very nice side shot like it's, you know how hard it is to find a side shot when you're modeling something like exactly a side like since this was 2d it doesn't really matter that you can see a little bit of a bulge from the other brow on this side so I mean, that's nothing and so but one of the one of the things when you're modeling something and I've uh, I've thought about this before like when you're gonna be modeling something that's kind of like for somebody's head so I was like to get the shape I decided to take a bust of a head that I have here Let's see you got head STL obviously it's gonna be huge look, look how big that sucker is look how look, look, it's huge they gotta dial it down we gotta dial it down, dial it down. That's like a big head. So let's you set the all right. You got the all the way to the origin. So now we're just gonna go over here. Look how far back that is. So I'm just gonna grab this and just scooch it up a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go right there.
you get you could you guys can tell me if that looks weird or not. It was like never saw Mighty Ducks. Well, it was a great cartoon. I, I saw it. It was part of one of Disney's lineups and everything. I, I did. I think they even showed it on Disney uh, a few times when Disney still was having like their after school scatter like after school cartoons for kids to watch. You know, which was not necessarily the best thing because obviously when we got home, instead of having instead of do, wanting to do homework. We up and decided we're just going to play some, we're just going to put on the TV, throw our book bags wherever we saw fit and you know, just, um, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Not for our parents though. Our parents never ever enjoyed that part of the aspect of, a, of what we did. So, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Like if I, if I was a, a parent, I probably would, um, would be really very upset with my child for like throwing their stuff uh, so we're gonna start with a plane obviously it's not I don't know why the plane is always flat like that I gotta figure out why it's always coming out flat so I'm gonna just straighten it out here there you go Uh, what's Mighty Duck? Mighty Ducks is a cartoon series from Disney. Uh, that was, I guess you could say it was a spin-off of the movie. Well, instead of, um, you know, making a series of the kids playing hockey and stuff, they decided to make it like alien ducks from outer space that were called the Mighty Ducks that fought for justice and loved to play hockey. And their armor was hockey related, basically. Especially the leader, because he had a, a hockey mask. So yeah, right here. So, as you can see, right here, this is the uh, this is the leader's mask. This is what he used for hockey. But then when when he went into his garb of you know stuff to to fight evil, it was gold with red eyes. I think it was red eyes. It was gold with, with well, you couldn't see his real eyes, but you know, it was gold with eyes. It was gold with eyes. So I'm going to just going to move this back a little bit. Okay. So now we have that. What we're going to have to do, because obviously I am not about to work on the opposite side by itself. You know, that's, eh, nah, 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 that's a, that's a no, no. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to mirror this plane. And you see, oh, hold on, my my bad. I forgot one thing. Before you mirror something, you gotta go into edit mode. You gotta go into edit mode, and then the magic happens. See, but there's the magic. There, the, there's the magic. So, so see, ha <laughs> ha. Sister Lupe. I just watched the TV show that one of my favorites. Uh, so I got I got like that name Sister Lupe stuck in my head. I don't, know. I don't know why I do have it stuck in my head. I just do. Move this up and scooch it inward. Alright, so now we're just gonna mess around with the vertices here. So I gotta see you guys. So we're gonna just grab the plane the uh, the edge here. So we're gonna grab the edge, press E, and we're just gonna, you know work around it you know see you can't tell me that part is not easy you know, it's just, just a nice, simple forehead. Just a nice, simple forehead. 
And remember, guys, if you got a question, if, you, if, if there's something you're curious about, feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. There are no wrong answers here. Well, there are probably some, but, you know, there are no bad questions. So, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to grab all of this. And we're just going to move it here. Uh, I have a question about printing helmets. Do you turn on your heat bed when you print your helmets? And if you do, if you, if you don't, how uh, do you do it? Because when I turn off my head, my heat bed, my print starts to curl. Well, it all depends on the filament because, you know, some filament need the heat bed um, for, for adhesion. Some don't. Uh, but I would say, for, um, are you using glass? Are you using, or are you using a mat that that actually is supposed to stick the filament, or do you use blue painters tape? Those, those are the. I know those are three options that a lot of people go for. So, which one, are, which ones are you using? One, one, two, or three. Using glass, blue painters tape, or uh, an adhesion mat that. You could actually buy separately. That's actually magnetic, from what I from what I know. And also, guys, if you like what I do and you want to support, um, one of the things I decided that I'm going to be doing on my coffee site for any of those people who who donate every month, I will be starting to give rewards for those who donate about thirty dollars or more if they don't and each month I will be releasing one of the files only for the supporters on coffee so if you guys are interested in that you know you can make a donation and you know it and every donation helps the channel it helps you know go a little bit further along you know so we can buy material so we can you know do what not and stuff so you know so you know <coughs> <clears throat> the link to the coffee should be right here. Let me think if I could put it back up again. Uh, so let's see. We're going to put it right there. So if you want to make a donation to the coffee, you can. Or you can donate to the, the PayPal as well. And your name will show up right here on the screen, right there. Right underneath where that says help support the channel. So right bottom there, you can, you know, your name will show up that you support the channel and stuff like that. You know, we still got a long ways to go. We've had, I've had this thing up for a while, for months, and you know, we only made uh, 210 um, in in donations um, through PayPal. So let's see. You know, we don't want to close down the channel. We, I don't. I, yeah, I, I know you guys want the channel to keep going. You know, we, we need that support. If you want me to keep making content and stuff like that, like I was doing before, you know what you need to do. You, Help support if you can, you know, and you can, when you send your support, you can send your holiday wishes if you send something during the holidays. Uh, I use a mirror with glue on top. Okay, I don't use the mirror and glue on top. I don't like that that way to do it for me personally. What I use is blue painter's tape and a little bit of rubbing alcohol, let it, let it dry, and I never had to turn on my heat bed. Never have. With, with that, I never had to do it, and I haven't had any curling in a long time. How is your, my eye is doing fine. I did have a little bit of pain in my eye uh, yesterday. Uh, like I was kind of straining while I was at the movies watching Star Wars and my eye was like bothering me and it was like, kind of hurting and everything. So I was like, and I was like, I don't want to close my eye cause I'm at the movies. And if I close my eyes in a dark room and I'm there and I'm comfortable, I'm going to fall asleep. And I didn't want to miss the movie. And, you know, I was like, trying my best. Trying my best. You know, oh, and, and Sandy, since you're here, you, you kind of missed out. I'm going to show you this right now. I'm going to show you the newest model I made. The newest model I made. So I'm, I, I hope you like this. Look at look at this. This is the newest model. And I'm using, and I this is what I made in Blender. Because this is the only program I've been using lately. Yep, that's right, Joker Blender. Ah, okay, I'll try that also. How did you put the head model on Blender? Oh, I, I actually imported it from my desktop. 
So I imported it from the desktop, and you know, because let Blender actually lets you import files like STLs, OBJs, and stuff like that. So I had a head file that I've had for like from a full body uh, file. It just chopped off the head. Uh, so I, then I just painted it black with I gave it black material in Blender and presto changeo we have uh, I guess you could say a bust. I guess it doesn't have a base like it's like I would like it to, but close enough. Close enough. So but Sandy, thank you for asking. Yeah, I am my eyes okay. At least at least today is fine, you know. I, I haven't had any like irritation or anything. You know um printing something. Another roll, Sandy, I'm gonna tell you this, another one of my rolls was bad. I put a, a white roll of filament in here in there to print and then all of a sudden like it's like spitting it out like, like it went bad i was like i just opened it i literally just took out the plastic and it would not go through that's like another 16 dollars down the drain total down the drain 32 bucks yeah 31 30, yeah 32 bucks down the drain so yeah. Uh, cool. And another question: How do you add more t textures on Blender, like the goal? Uh, well, basically, what you what you do. Let me just take this off right here for a second. Uh, basically, right here, you're gonna go to right here where it says materials, and basically, all you, all you have to do is you know press plus, and then new, and then you you know select your color that you want. Uh, you can do basically your own colors, you know, press plus, material one, and then go to base color and, you know, you pick whatever color in the rainbow you want. And then after you got it, you can give it a metallic look, spectacular, uh, give it a clear coat, and then assign it to whatever um, face that you have selected because you have to have actually... The face is selected that you want to change to that color. So after that, then you're good. Then you're golden. Uh, cool. Thanks for the info. No problem. No problem. That's why I'm here. Uh, I'm here to give support. So right now we're just gonna remove the head for a second because I just wanna see what I got here. Okay. Just gonna move this up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna put the head back because I want to make sure that this meshes a little bit well. So I'm gonna grab this backdrop again, this reference photo. I'm gonna grab it again, just scooch it a little back. There we go. And yeah, okay. And this I'm gonna maybe scooch it a little bit lower that way. When the mask goes up to here, around the face area, like right here, the bridge of the nose, you know, it sits comfortably. It sits comfortably. That's, you know, you want comfort. You don't want it to hurt. You want it to hurt. Nobody likes pain. Well, some people do, but we're not going to talk about those people. Pain is pleasure, they say. All right, so all right, now we're gonna scoot you back again. That's what we got here. All right, we're gonna grab these two first, and we're gonna just move it back. And basically, what we're gonna do is line it up ever so slightly. To the you know you know the shape of the head you know that's what we're gonna do and trust me it is not easy because yeah I gotta keep going from the from the from an angle shot to a back shot you know that way I know where I'm going And if you're wondering how am I going to put the holes in the helmet, that's simple. 
I'm gonna use what's called a boolean tool. So far, so good. Look at that. Now, I'm just gonna... This, this is a fairly easy project. Fairly easy. So I'm just gonna go right here. And just ad adjust these a little bit. I'm not gonna keep it as round like this sharp of a head because it it really it would probably dig into the head a little bit too much so we're gonna bring it out a little bit more so you know the part right here we're gonna bring this out a little bit more like around here like that uh, I had the same problem with my filament I had just opened it and it was breaking easily it was Ziltec I haven't used Ziltec in like years I've been wanting to use it but they to order Ziltec and have it shipped where I live is expensive it is expensive I, I'm, I'm not about to shell out that much cash for something like that no okay so far so good and I just scooch this a little bit back I grabbed the wrong one. Look at that. Grab the wrong one. See, this is this is sometimes where you gotta you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So yeah. Hey, if anybody wants to get me some fill up it, fill them in for Christmas, I love you to the end of days. Brother needs some more filament. Oscar needs some filament. Now that he's started 3D modeling his own stuff, needs some stuff. I need some filament. Uh, then I switched to CT CC tree PLA filament, and it works great. Never heard of that one. Where where do you get that brand? I've never even heard of that. I, I've never heard that name ever. CC CC tree. Right right now, I'm actually using what's called Duramic 3D. Premium 3D Plus. What filament brand do you use? I'll show you right now. Uh, this is the one I'm using. Dermic 3D. It says this is actually a premium PLA Plus. Uh, it was a little less expensive when I first started buying it, but I don't know why for some reason Every time I buy something that's a little bit less expensive the prices start to go up the more I try to buy it So this it was like the first the first set of three that I bought was about $13.99 uh, Then it went up to $15.99. So now it's up to $16.99 uh, Just for black for any other color including white. I don't know why but white costs 20 bucks so this costs about $16.99 a roll for 2.2 pounds and so far it's been coming out pretty nice. Uh, I used it for a Green Ranger helmet. I got it right here. I printed out this Green Ranger helmet. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting here. So. Now, this is with the Duramix 3D uh, filament, so came out really nice. So. Inland, I actually was using it a lot. 
a lot, a lot, a lot. Like almost all of my models were basically of that material. So, like, and if you guys remember, in one of the previous live streams, I modeled the Magneto helmet. You guys remember the Magneto helmet that I, I modeled uh, a few live streams ago? Well, I decided, let me make a, a print of it. So, <laughs> here's Magneto. Look at that. Magneto has come to life. And this is also with the Duramic uh, 3D filament. So I gotta honestly say, this baby came out really nice. I gotta say. Uh, the only part I, the only thing I didn't like was the fact that I, it was a little bit too squished. So this happened. Yeah, but a little bit of bondo work and maybe melting it a little bit to you know make it more flat, and then add bondo to it and smooth it out. You know, it's just the top. It's always gonna happen. Uh, but you know, it's like it's like it's, it's supposed to be for somebody with a bigger head than me, so and you gotta add a little, a little bit of padding on the top because it doesn't sit all the way, so you know, it's like you, know, you got need a little, a little padding on the top of the head, just a little bit, but you know, it's it's nice and comfortable. You can add some, some padding on the sides and everything for some more comfort. But all in all, I say this came out nice, a uh, magneto, and it doesn't squish. It doesn't squish my ears, so and that's what I like. That's what I like. I don't like to squish my ears. I don't like to squish my ears. So tell me, what did people? What did you guys ask Santa for? Like, did you? Did you? What is? Uh, what is on your Christmas list? For this year, like what, what, what are you hoping to to have for Christmas this year? Like, what's on everybody's bucket list of Christmas wishes? A nice magneto helmet. Can't wait to see it finished. Yeah, it, 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 I, I, I kind of say I do like this this filament. I really want to get more. I'm hoping I can you know things are very slow right now when it comes to you know orders and stuff like that you know it, it, it's the holidays so you know people are you know buying gifts for the family the friends their loved ones you know it's like what, what what can you do you know what would you do for a Klondike bar what would you do you guys remember that commercial Klondike bars Uh, my printer to magically fix itself every time it breaks down. I think that's every 3D printer prop maker's wish that their printer will automatically fix automatically when it breaks. Because I know I had that wish because I had so many issues with my 3D printer, countless amounts of times during these past few weeks. Was I happy? No. Am I happy now that it's okay? Yeah. But. Who knows what will happen in the future with that machine. You know, I was like, will we ever know? No. Having trouble with filament sticking to plate, try try using Creality Ultra Flexible bed cover. It's a magnetic work great. Oh yeah, I, I actually have that one. Uh, but it was I think it's because I kinda adjusted it too high and it squished and kinda the supports actually fused to the helmet. So you know happen you know what happens if you don't give enough space, it's get the if you're trying to pull it off is it's basically like pulling teeth literally and so it's like yeah. it's like literally like pulling teeth you 
going to have to adjust this to curve a little bit more to the head. Let's see. Move you here. Move you here. see move the head I just want to see okay still needs a little bit more so what we're gonna do because obviously a person's head is a little bit wider so we're gonna just move this sucker a little bit here maybe a little bit more you too Are people having trouble with filament sticking to the plate yet? And how many people actually have that problem? Because that's like a common, common, common problem. So far, so good. I, I, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. I think the, the, the main problem is probably going to be the brows. It's going to probably be the, that, those brow stuff. Somebody was asking me right now about my sale because I've been having a sale that's been that's been going on for the past month now, guys. You know, you know, buy, you know, buy two raw 3D printed helmets for 200 bucks, and then you get one free in the sale. But the only thing is, the sale ends tomorrow, guys. The sale ends tomorrow, so that's going to be uh, putting in a, a little bit of a crunch for people who didn't know about the sale. So it's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. Crunch time. So if you're interested in that sale, you know, hit me up in the comments down below or you can tell me here in the chat if you guys are interested in that, if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, and like I said, guys, if you're interested in coffee, now for people who donate to the channel, uh, people who donate $30 or more, they will be eligible that, that month to get a free STL file of one that I've created. So every month there will be a file up for grabs for those who donate $30 or more in that month and every month will be a different file because I've been working my butt off on making countless amounts of files of helmets and stuff like that I'm even working on the King Tyranno chest shield the, the, the original version and then probably gonna work on the second version after that so I don't know but so far I've been getting a lot of great feedback on on the helmets that I've been modeling so Getting a lot of likes on Instagram still. They got like loading up on likes, loading up on likes. Eight more likes on Instagram for that helmet of the King Tyran. Look at that. It is it, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. You don't really get that much attention a lot of the time. Go over here, press E, and lift. That's what that's what we call a brow lift, ladies and gentlemen, in, in the digital world. Digimon, digital monster, Digimon Garland champions. Who used to watch that cartoon? If you tell me you didn't, 
You lie. Digimon, digital monster, Digimon Garland champions. Save into digital champions to save the digital world. So far, so good. We, we, we got some brow action going on here, ladies and gentlemen. We got some brow action. So I'm just going to adjust this a little higher. I think this one needs to go a little higher. Okay. And this one a little bit lower. You know, you, you got to be very, very careful with this stuff. Because, you know, you, you want to get the right the right shape and it ain't easy especially when it kind of flows digimon is a good series good series it's a great series it's a great series especially the first two i'm old school i like the first two I'm just gonna make one more of this side. Let's see, all right, now we're gonna scooch it back here. Yeah, that's a that's I think that's that's pretty good. Gives a little bit of room to put some padding right here, you know? Because have you have you guys ever worn one of those hockey masks they sell for Halloween? They got no padding, and then you're you're all sweating on the plastic and everything. You're like you're like dripping. Put like a little. A little padding, a sponge, and you could be dry as a bone. Well, not literally dry as a bone, but you'll at least be won't be dripping on your eyes. Uh, what's your favorite Digimon from the cartoons? My favorite Digimon from the cartoons. Uh, oh my God, so many Digimon. Well, I kind of liked all the versions of, of Vmon. I like all the versions of Vmon. You know, I like X V Mon and I, I I love all the evolutions after that. Even his his little fusion uh, with Stingmon. That, that that was awesome. I I really love that. So that that was a, a, a very very cool uh, thing to watch. So like one of my favorites, one of my favorite things. So if you ever seen it. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. Okay, you gotta go over here. All right. So and then you gonna so that that's my favorite Digimon from from that cartoon series. That's my favorite Digimon. How about you? Like, what? What is your favorite? Like, what is your favorite Digimon? Digimon, digital monster, Digimon Garden champions to change the digital world. <laughs> A Digimon, digital monster, Digimon Garden champion. Mm -hmm. All right. Gonna select all of these again. I'm gonna press E for more. Scooch it down. Scooch it down. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna grab this. E is for Easter Bunny. Easter Parade. Uh, you guys would not know what that's from because I'm old school. That's from 1970s. And I wasn't even born in the 70s, just the end of it. So, uh, but I did see the movie. It's like Midnight Madness. Yeah, my favorite uh, Vmon evolution was Magnemon, the gold one. Nice, nice. Yeah, 
Be mine is Magnamon for Fire of Courage. My favorite is Alphamon. He's a new one. Oh, nice. I haven't seen Digimon in a while, so I um, I I wouldn't know what exactly that one is. So I'm just gonna have to remove clipping for a minute because if I don't remove it, I'm not gonna get anywhere. Oh, in fact, I don't have to do that. Let me. Yeah. I, oh yeah. I, I I have to do it. So we're gonna press E. Go to here. And so, put the clipping back on. Yeah, just here. There, there. And press F. And we got that settled. So we're going to go here, here. I need to get that moving thing out of the way. Okay, here we go. Oops. Here we go. All right, let's remove this. <laughs> it looks like a weird crown. <laughs> it's like it looked like I just made a crown for the, for the top of his head. I already saw your message, even though you deleted it. I saw your message, Joker. I saw it. You can't hide it from me, cause I already saw it. So it's already shame on you from trying to hide it from me. So I'm gonna put this back there. So we're gonna bring more of the brow down. So yeah. all the way down here. So we're gonna bring this down here. There we go. Yeah, further. Look, look, look at that, guys. We're we're get we're, we're it's it's taking shape. It's taking shape. See. I swear, if I had this technology back in the day, I would have been so happy. You have any idea how happy I would have been to have this stuff back then when I was younger? Oh, you have no idea the happiness the, the 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 child in me would have been. This is like this is like something I would have like would have been like giving me that. That smile on Christmas morning. Veronica, my Christmas wishes are almost complete. Your Christmas wishes or um, getting things for people for their Christmas wish? Which one exactly is it? So let's just remove let's let's put this back and remove the head. I just wanna take a good look. Okay. Mm, 
okay? I think we're just gonna have to adjust a little bit of the brow. Um, obviously, we can't adjust it too much to the cartoon because, you know, we need to adjust it that it matches a person's head. But we're gonna have to lift up this a little bit more. So we're gonna lift these up a little bit more. Because we need that angry look. We need that, that look of anger. Oh, I need to make myself comfortable. Oh, you know how hard it is to, to sit in a chair for so long? And as you can see, the and this is what I I, I, t I was talking to my friend about earlier today, is that sometimes when you're working with these files and stuff, they don't necessarily mesh well with an actual person's uh, face, or the pictures side and the front view don't exactly go together because of the way they're drawn. I guess sometimes they're they don't take enough, they're not doing they're not drawing these pictures for people to be able to. You know, create these characters in real life. You know, you know, they, because cosplay at the time was a very new thing. So I was like, they weren't like thinking like, oh, this 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 could be made into a costume later on for somebody. Like, no, they weren't thinking about that at all. You know. And they still probably don't think about that. You know, later on, people are like saying. Like, oh, this will make an awesome cosplay, and then they, you know, it's like you, you, you can't, you can't work them uh, on your own. You have to make your own patterns and everything. And doing stuff like this, like 3D modeling, you actually have to do the same thing. You have to put in your own two cents and try to figure things out to just, you know, mesh in a way that you need it to, to mesh. You know, I guess, I, I guess that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. So I'm gonna go to the side, hit image here, go here, and like that. Not too much in the face because we don't we don't wanna we don't wanna dig that into the eye, you know. So F. All right, just gonna scooch it over here. Get another one here. Oh. These live streams are becoming like so slow now like not many people are, are are enjoying them as much as they used to I've, I've noticed that I'm like, like, like we've seen less and less people here during the live stream so I don't know maybe you know it's a little bit boring to, to some people you know maybe I don't know or maybe those are the people who want to see are waiting for another because I used to, I was doing raffles before the beginning. I started doing raffles, uh, and I haven't done one in a while. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see what it is. If, it, if it was the raffle, you know, I guess I have to figure out something. You know, that the fans would love, that they would like to see raffled off. That they would like to, you know, have a chance to win. You guys would like to see, you know, raffled off. Yeah, like, is there like a, a prize? You know, you guys in particular would want to see raffled. You know, before, before I was, I was actually giving away like uh, autographed helmets that were signed by Jason David Frank. Uh, but yeah, but you know, that's that's not something you can raffle off every day. You know, that's not something you can raffle off every day.
All right, now this is gonna be tricky because, like I said, I don't have a I, I don't have a top view of this particular thing, so it's like it's all about guesstimating, literally. So I'm gonna go to the top view, see if I can fix it up, make it a little bit neater. Yeah. All right. So far we got the, a little bit of a good length for for the duck bill. Yeah, you guys, you guys tell me. So, what do you guys think of this so far? You know, like it's kind of weird, <laughs> like all that stuff right there. Oh my God, what in the world am I creating here? Obviously, I know I gotta extend it a little bit further out. So, So we're gonna All right, so top view God, this looks so <laughs> so weird. Quack quack. Oh my god, so weird. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this here. So we have this here, but to mesh this up in here a little bit better, this has to be cut. So I'm gonna take here. To my bisect and I'm gonna slice it right there. Alright, as you can see there are two little dots here, so we wanna we're gonna right click, merge the vertices, and I'm gonna put the last. Because that's the that's where the corner is. So we're gonna go back here to our move tool here click that over here and then we're gonna just delete that face because now we don't need that face we don't need the face no not the face not the face not the cara, not the cara, not the face. Wow. Now we only have one person here. Everybody just keeps leaving. I don't know why. I, I know it's like one person and the night bot that are in here. You know, like one person. Even though it says I'm in here, because obviously I'm in here. It's my, it's my channel. So of course I am in here. So I'm just gonna see right here. Line this up first. Oop. In fact, I'm gonna delete that. Connect this here and press F. And that'll connect it right there. Gonna select this, go to my bisect tool, slash that, 
select it now just let me check and make sure I don't have two vertices here because most likely I do yeah look at that look 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 okay close up two vertices not gonna be good you gotta always fix that so we're gonna sensor there we go here we go and then we can put that guy there but we're gonna have to move it forward and see look at that all of these need to be put back here wrong one there we go Not too shabby. Not too shabby. to be confused with the other thing all right so let's see here we're gonna over here and we're just gonna scoot you over scoot you over right there there we go oh that just oh, too far out too far out but not too too much all right here you go So far, so good. And, you know, we don't really need to touch in the face. Okay. So now what we're going to do here, we're going to just take that off. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Merry early Christmas. Thank you. Merry early Christmas to you. Happy holiday. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah to everybody who's Jewish. Who do not celebrate Christmas. Shopping for both. That's good. Or, you know, not shopping for both, but, you know, you're buying for both. Well, is it really buying for both? It's like, not really buying for both. You're buying for one. You know, for a family. Still the same thing. You know? Buying stuff for the familia. Hmm. 
Just gonna do this here. here. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna click this and this and F. And now we're gonna click these. Ha ha! Got rid of the faces I did not need. Because there were a lot I did not need. I wonder if I can... I, I probably can do the same technique making like an ombu mask. I hope you have a nice Christmas with your family and friends. Well, I don't have really any friends around here to hang out with. You know, like everybody I know lives... Which they say pretty far. So I'm not going to see any friends. Uh, so it'll just be me and my mom. You know, that's about it for, for me for Christmas. Me and my mom. Which is all good, you know. I like spending time with my mother. She's cool people. Mm, too sharp, too sharp. There we go. So we're gonna click all of these. And E. So far, so good. That's where shaping a duck bill may look easy, but it ain't. Especially when you don't have a top view of this actual mask and I can't use an actual duck bill because it doesn't mesh with a cartoon version don't you just hate that so we're gonna yes I know you're my friend you're my friend Orville and I do appreciate that I do appreciate the friendship I like I like having friends I like having friends pulling them my shirt Got a little tug on my shirt. Uh, yeah. So, Merry Christmas, buddy. I always see the lie to the end. Yes, all the way to the end. To the end. To the end of the earth. I wonder how far we'll get in this model before we end up having like only one person in the live stream. That's the question there now, isn't it? F. F, F, F. You're both getting an F. I remember that from Saved by the Bell. Anybody else remember Saved by the Bell? I remember Saved by the Bell. Now they're doing a reboot. Now they're, re they're doing a reboot of Saved by the Bell. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to an, uh, a, a reboot of Saved by the Bell because that was like, that was my most favorite show growing up. Like, it was that and what was the other one? It was California Dreams. 
We serve dudes with attitudes, kind of grooving, way back moon. Scott's moving, be look, good vibration, feeling mellow, won't give it up, don't wanna stop. Don't wake me up. Um, if I keep if I keep going, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna probably end up singing the whole theme song. And don't wake me up, cause I'm dreaming. So what do you guys think of this so far? I know it looks a little bit on the messy side. It's a little, look, it's a little bit messy, yeah, kind of, kind of bleh for so far. It's kind of bleh so far, so you know, it's not perfect yet. Not perfect, perfect. Yeah, so far we're cooking with some gravy guys so far uh, wrong button e e easter bunny easter parade that's old school stuff i am ready for christmas matt watkins what is up matt hope you smash the like button buddy hope you smash that like button because if you like what we're doing here, you smash the like button. It'll be a merry. It's, it's one way of saying Merry Christmas. Smashing the like button says Merry Christmas, and it also says Happy Hanukkah and Happy Kwanzaa and all that other jazzy holiday goodness that you know other people do not celebrate. As I celebrate Christmas, I don't celebrate Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, but more power to the people that do because those are also great holidays that people should be celebrating. You know, lighting, lighting the candles on... Um, oh my god, I forgot what it was called. I used to know the name of this thing. Oh my lord, now I can't remember. Lighting the candles on the... It looks like a candelabra. But it ain't a candelabra. Something else. Oh, whatever. There's lighting all the candles. That's that that that's what they're doing. They're lighting all the candles. F F F, you're both getting in F. Why do I got saved by the bell on the brain? And can you believe they're doing a reboot of the of the classic TV show? A reboot. Of Say by the Bell, which will actually have Mario Lopez and Elizabeth Berkeley in the show. Now I'm not too sure how that's gonna go, but who knows? I'm good just working on a 3D printed kit for a Han Solo blaster for my friend for Christmas. Nice. Nice. That that says Merry Christmas, my friend. That says Merry Christmas to your friend. Uh, I'm sure your friend's gonna love it. It's going to be like, your friends probably even already went to go see the movie, for all we know. It's like, I went to see the movie! Like, I know you went to see the movie. You wouldn't be quiet about it. Everybody who said, like, no spoilers. No spoilers. 
I, I saw the movie, so. Spoilers ain't gonna ruin my day. So I am Juicy Lucy Goosey. Juicy Lucy. That's my that's a that's a good hamburger, a juicy Lucy. Yeah, if you guys ever if you guys have never had a juicy Lucy, oh you're missing out. It's delicious. It is delicious. Uh, me and my friend seeing Star Wars Sunday. Awesome! You're gonna you're gonna like it guys. It's it's an awesome, awesome movie. I liked it, I enjoyed it. I thought it was coolio. Not to be confused with the singer Coolio. Fresh out the box. Stop. Looking why. Ready yet? Get set. It's all that. Uh, 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 this is all that. This is all that. Okay. Oh, nice! Oh, dude! Wow, Matt, that's a that's a cool looking blaster. That looks nice. Whee! I like the paint job. I love the whole scratched metal thing on the black. Nice. Yeah, I remember when I first saw the movie. It's like the, it's like you you really didn't think twice about Han Solo's blaster or anything. And then you know, it's like, because you, you thought it was like awesome and everything, like when you were a kid. And then you like look at it compared to the other props now in in Star Wars, like wow, it's like wow. So nice job, man. That, your friend's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Oh my god, these notifications are loud. F -f 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 oh, that thing is stuck in my head now. Okay, let's see. Okay. Move you down here. Oh, oh. little it's gonna take shape probably gonna want to make this thing a little smaller not too small but small enough Anybody want to be a ducky? I'm just gonna 
Uh, Zach from Saved by the Bell will be at Comic Con in, in Liverpool in UK next year. Going lucky you. I've never gotten to meet Mark Paul Gosler ever, 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 ever. I've never. He's he's one actor I've yet to. Out of all the ones that I like, you know, he's one of the actors I have never met yet. You know, it's like, and I would I would love. To meet him because come on this is you know this is Mark Paul Gosser Zach Morris come on who wouldn't want to meet Zach Morris jeez it was like I, in fact when I was a kid I wanted to be Zach Morris you know I, I, I wanted to be that dude <clears throat> let's see here, modifier, subdivision. I'm just going to go with four for right now just to check here. Okay. Okay, remove the head. And let's go into object mode just to see. All right. Not, oh, that, that's, that's looking pretty good. That's not looking half bad. Let me just take off this middle picture. I want to see. It. Oh yeah, that's, that's looking pretty nice. Um, I'm kind of worried about this. I don't know why this is like this. Let me let me double check here for a second. Let me go back to edit mode. Go into grid. Let's see. Ah, look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, this is one of the things you guys need to avoid. One thing you guys need to avoid, look at that. These reds are not supposed to be red. No, that's a, red is a no-no color here. It's a no-no color. So what we're gonna do is just gonna select all the reds. Red means stop. And we're gonna stop all these reds from appearing on this side. Have all the six that we're gonna alt n and flip oh, missed one again flip we got everything wait oh here's another one it's a no-no that is a no no okay so now we'll go back and look at that all right that is looking ten times better that's looking ten times better. Uh, I'm not liking this crease though. This crease is a little too sharp for right for my for my taste. So we're gonna just see just see what it looks like without it. See what it looks like without it. So we're gonna remove it. Okay, okay, a little much better, much better. I think probably I want to bring the edge a little bit lower just to give that more of a beveled look. Onto the top, you know, just a little, a little bit more up. So, well, let's see here. I'm just gonna looking. I'm looking for this cowboy here. Let's see if I can find his name, because. Uh, Obviously, I don't. I think the guy that I was that was commissioned this to be made hasn't shown up into the live stream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna go up and look for him uh, for his message, so that way I can get his name. Oh. I need his name. If I, if he, all right. So I I don't see his real name, but you know we're gonna go by his. His Facebook name, which is, you know, I'm going to give a shout out to B. 
BK Kato. I think that's that, I think that's how you say it. BK Kato. That's how you say. It. So I want to give another shout out to BK Kato for um, for you know commissioning this piece right here of the you know the Mighty Ducks leader. So you know shout out to you, buddy. Um, if you didn't make it to the stream, uh, by the time the stream is over, uh, there's always another another stream. Always another stream, buddy. So uh, most likely we will see you in the next one. So. But this one's not done yet, you know, we've still got a long way to go in the building process of this helmet. <coughs> so, let's remove this face orientation, because now that we know that, you know, there were some bad faces. So we're going to grab these, and we're just going to scooch them down a little bit, and bring them a little bit further back. So let's just give it a look here. So let's see here. So point of viewport four again. Right, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Have you seen the trailer to Ghostbusters Afterlife? Oh yeah, I saw it when it first came out. I saw the trailer uh, the minute it first came out. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see it, but I, I was hoping to see a trailer with the actual Ghostbusters, you know? You know, that, that's what I would like to have seen, like the actual Ghostbusters in, in the movie. You know, that's my take on the whole thing. That's what I would want to have seen. Uh, so I'm a little, little disappointed in that part because we don't get to see... Ray, we don't see Egon, we don't see Dana, we we don't, you know, obviously you know one of them is dead. That would have been interesting to see a trailer and he, you see him as, there as a ghost in the trailer, like Egon Spangler, you know, but, you know, we even Peter Venkman, you know, that would have been cool to see. You know, I, I know we didn't see him in the original trailer when they first appeared in the other movie, you know, you don't see them, you just heard they had cameos, but you don't. You didn't get to see them in the trailer. You just saw the main characters. But I was thinking they were going to be the main characters in this movie. And I was like, eh. You get, you get these kids who find all this stuff. And you know, I was like, I was like, okay. Not, not what I was thinking, but okay. It's like, not really my cup of tea. You know? Not, not, not my, not my feels. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to do this. So this brow, I'm going to extend it because we want to give them cheekbones. So I'm just going to go over here, adjust this right here. This, this is just how I'm going to do it. In a way, it kind of matches the, the point. So let's see where the head is if I have to adjust this. So let's put the head back here. Let's see. Okay, so we need to bring them out because obviously they're in the head. So we're going to bring that sucker out. Bring you out. This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Boy, is that whoop, damn! I made Zorro zigzags. Okay, I th I, I think this will be a, a good point. We're just gonna scooch a little bit more to the side. I want to bring them more in. Yeah, that way it's a little bit more snug to the face. You know, not too snug because you know we don't we don't want a tight fit around the head. But you know, it's like at least you know we get that. You know, maybe bring this up a little bit more. And there's probably another. You know, I could have probably used the other way. I learned how to make pipes, but yeah. So 
So see here the head. Okay. Bring you out more. You a little further down. You a little out. There we go. So far, so good. F, 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 you're both getting an F. I wonder where everybody is. Who do we have here in the chat tonight? Who do we have? Who do we have? Because nobody is talking. Nobody is talking a blondo. You know, we're, I'm modeling something here, but everybody's so, so very quiet. I think we're gonna have to just change this a little bit because I don't like that that sharpness right there. So we're gonna just go here, or here. Right, before I do that, one, two, delete the face. There we go. That's better. go a lot a lot better going on right there don't you think that's better Okay, let's just remove it. Alright. I like the size of the eye opening because it, it, it's good enough to show the eye, but not so much like a Batman thing where you see a little bit of the skin. This is a little bit more closed off, so I kind of like it. And it's kind of long over here. So. Right, and we got some breathing room. We still got some, some nice room. We still got to make more of the bill around here that actually goes around the nose and a little bit over the mouth. So... You know, we're, we're working our magic here. We're working our magic, guys. We're, we're working on our magic carp. Ugh. Kept this selected at that. No, here we go. My goodness. The, the, the live streams are getting so quiet. Like, people say they want me to keep doing the live streams but you know it's like where are the people when you're doing the live streams it's like they're almost not around anymore I don't know you yeah it's like do you guys really want these live streams to continue you know or do you guys just want me to see if I could make more video content you know what what is your preference what do, what is it that you would like what do you want to see more both live streams and video content or just video content uh, or just live streams you know I know a lot of people don't do don't do just consecutively do live streams you know 
You know, because you know you need to fill out some content because live streams can probably get a little bit boring. A little bit maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Am I boring you guys? At least a little bit? Am I boring you out of your skulls? I don't know. I don't know. E is for Enigma. So where is everybody? Where is everybody tonight? Where where are you guys? Where where are, where are you? Because everybody's quiet. I know where Veronica is because she actually lives in Puerto Rico, so I know where she is. You know, but where's everybody else at? Or if there's anybody else here, you know. Was wondering when you're doing more helmet videos. Well, I'm gonna be doing more soon. I just gotta get more, you know, materials. Uh, Cause I had some filament, but for some odd reason, when I opened the package. The filament was bad already like it wouldn't go through like it was uh, they say usually filament like that is because there's moisture in the filament because uh, humidity and even though it was sealed in the plastic and I, once you open it you can't even send it back you know especially if you had it for a while and you haven't used it you know but regardless of like no nope, we don't take returns I'm sorry sir so it's like but I'm going to be doing something, I'm working on a, um, a Gokai Silver helmet for somebody. So you guys, you guys are going to see that. You guys are going to see some Gokai Silver action. So, that's, that's one I am currently, currently working on. And it'll be interesting because you get, you get to see, uh, a gold visor done for the first time. So I'm going to be working on, on that particular thing. So imagine that, a gold visor, guys. Go, go, Power Rangers. You know, the, the hardest part is, is like, you know, like, making the videos i think it's mostly because you know money gets tight filming filament costs a lot of money and you know being being unemployed myself it's not easy you know i work for myself with the with the props and everything but you know if during the holidays there's not really much demand for props you know because you know people you know people are spending money on the family you know get those gifts for the kids for the holiday season you know that's that's an important thing you know you gotta you gotta get some presents for the kids you know Santa's coming and those kids are waiting for Santa I hope Santa brings me something nice this year something I would love to have I like to see you do video doing SPD Shadow Ranger helmet. I'll probably end up doing that one day, uh, but like I said, I'm just I just have to you know get some you know some material. You know I I got three rolls that I, I bought right now that I, I had some money for, so I ended up picking it up on, on Amazon. I just picked it up today for, off of the um, the UPS, so I just picked it up today. So hopefully you know I can you know I can shell out some more stuff. Just hold on. Just sing, yeah, just sing here you go. Hey, look at that. Hold on. I uh, okay, look at this. I'm gonna show you this guys right now. Look at this. Look at this. Let me just fix my lighting because it's I know it's gonna be a little bit I don't know. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you can see that. In fact I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. That way you guys can see it, and I'm gonna enlarge it. And see, screenshot. Now I'm gonna enlarge it because look who liked my post. I'm gonna show you right now. Look who liked my post on Instagram. Somebody liked my post on Instagram. Album screenshot. There we go.
Alright. Let's see if you guys can see that. Where my thumb is right there. Let me lower the Austin St. John like my post of this King Tyranno helmet. Well, not that one, but the actual one that I posted. Uh, this one with the teeth. He liked that post. Austin St. John liked my post. In fact, I'm going to post that on Instagram, that screenshot, because it's Austin St. John. I see you do video. Do <clears throat> so we're going to. We're gonna we're gonna post that. We're gonna, we're gonna post that he liked it. Okay. Supersize it that way we, we we get it. And we're gonna use the gif that he you know that circle gif. Gonna use a circle gif and Austin Saint John. <laughs> Austin St. John like my post and we're gonna <laughs> and I know he was gonna see it because I tagged him in it myself I tagged him in it myself so I knew he was bound to see it and I am so proud of how this helm this this model came out. So I'm so glad that he actually liked it. So oh, so good, so awesome, 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 awesome. So you're gonna adjust these a little bit here. Ah, oh, that thing like made my that made my night right there. Okay, we're gonna select all of these right here. E. E. Okay. <coughs> Woo.
see. So, we still have only two people here. Wow. And I, we've been here for almost two hours, guys. Almost two hours, and, you know, we pretty much got the gist of this done. It's going to take a little bit of a while until we get more done. Alright, that made me jump. Hello. Hello. I'm alright. Uh, she's at church. <laughs> alright. Alright. I'm chilling. I'm chilling just here. Uh, working on a 3D model. Yeah, yeah. No, I haven't printed it yet because I because I wasn't home yesterday. I went went out to the movies. Star Wars. Yeah, I went to go see Star Wars. Yeah, I liked it. Well, there's some people that that might not like it, but you know, not everybody likes every movie that comes out. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody's like, I like this, I like that, I don't like this, I don't like that, you know. Well, of course, that's how it always is. Ah, right, good, she, she heats it up every day. Huh? To turn it off for at least an hour? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, understood. Yeah, because she saw, she saw like a, a dog. I mean, not a dog, a, a cat like on the top of the. Um, uh, the hood. Yeah, cause there, cause it seems like there's like a cat that could be pregnant around here. Okay, I'll, I'll let her know. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. All right, no problem. How are you doing? Don't you just hit it when the phone ring while you're working on something and all of a sudden like, it makes you jump? It's like, I'm like, what the heck was that? Oh my god, it's like, I, I haven't had a, a jump scare like that in such a long time. And I don't get scared that easily. I don't, I really, I really, really don't. But that, that thing, like, out of the blue, you know, things, when it comes to things, like, out of the blue, they can, they can, like, give you like a a jump and you like jump right out of your seat Ugh, I hate that uh, so far so far we're, we're getting good this is coming out pretty good I'm gonna Yes. Hold on. Eh, here you go. Just wanna, you know, sharpen these edges so when I do, you know, the the softening. You know, so in fact, I'm gonna check it right now. I just wanna see, cause we've we've added some bit of cheekbone, so let's get rid of the. Yeah. You know, My God, that kind of reminds me of like what, like those one of those Cyrano de Bergerac uh, masks, you know? That the thing with the big giant schnoz is like 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 a Cyrano de Bergerac type of mask that you've seen cartoons, like big, big, big like the movie Roxanne with with Steve um, 
B Martin. Yeah, I like, mm, the big no was like, like some, oh, if, if you birds must be happy that they have something to perch on. You, know, you got like a nose that big. But so far, this is this is looking pretty good. So far, you know, I might end up putting like a, a bevel on here just to give it like more of a base in case he wants. If he makes it the gold one, you can put some lenses and it could sit a little bit better uh, on there. But but yeah, look at this. It's like it, it's starting to take a little bit more shape. You know, if I if I took it into here, I just remove this stuff here. You know, there's this tool, but like I said, with with using a mouse, it is not that reliable for me. So I bring down the radius here. Let's see, blob. This should be like a pull symbol here somewhere. Yeah, simplify, rotate, nudge. I don't know, let me let me try and nudge. Like nudge doesn't do anything. He's kind of, that kind of made the front part look a little bit ne neater though. Look at that. I know what this means. Those are like some reverse vertices. I I mean or whatever. Let's see. Scrape, fill, flatten, smooth. Increase, blob, inflate. Let me see. Does it, will inflate do anything for me? Nope. Inflate doesn't do nothing. Mm, no, no, no. That's too much. I think that's starting to look a little bit better. Wow, almost two hours. Almost two hours. Let me just. Woo! Bright light. Dang. Dang, Matt. You liked almost every single thing I posted. Go, go, Power Rangers! Uh -huh. Somebody asked me about uh, prices. Oh, yeah. Something like bit my finger. Alright, I'm gonna check this out now. Let's see. Base orientation, put it back to four. I mean, zero, I mean.
Yeah, I knew it. See, look, look, look. Red. You don't want red. Red is bad. Red is a bad color. Oh, and flip. There we go. It has to be blue. Alright, so let's see now. I think we're, we're gonna get Okay. You know, one of the things I, I do miss about what about doing live streams, I, I miss the fact when people would talk and conversate, not just watch. You know, because you know how it gets very quiet when, you know, I'm just working and nobody talks. It gets a, it gets just a little, a little too, too quiet, you know, it's like, you want interaction, you want conversation like where where can you get that where where it happened to what happened to conversation you know that that that's what's 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 missing it's conversation and 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 I I missed that interaction I don't know it's like Maybe you need more subs. Yeah, I need more subs, but also I have a lot. I have like almost 2,000 subs, but only like less than a handful of people will come to the live streams. I don't know. You know, sometimes it makes me wonder like, should I stop the live streams altogether? Should I just not do them anymore? Because they're not, they don't seem like to be grabbing a whole lot of. You know, a whole lot of interest in people. You know, it's like, well, I think maybe uh, it's just a little boring to them the live streams that I do. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Is it me? Is it what I do? Is it my interaction? I don't really, really know. So, gotta gotta figure what it what it possibly could be. So, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a hot babe. What's wrong with your with yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what's what's wrong with them. I don't, you know. And most likely since today is Friday and a lot of places the um, the Star Wars movie did just come out today. I'm guessing a majority of them is actually out watching the Star Wars movie as we speak. So, you know, that 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 could be a factor for today, you know. I didn't go live yesterday because I was at the Star Wars movie. And if they're not here on the live stream today, it's probably because a lot of them went to go see the Star Wars movie themselves today. And so, you know, th there, there's there's that.
And who, and who knows? Cause after all, they did say that it is, it is the the last Star Wars movie, so maybe everybody wants to see, wants to catch the last Star Wars movie. And, and people are getting mixed reviews. You know, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. Like I liked it, you know, but you know, I'm not everybody, so I don't know. What would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you do for a Klondike bar? I'm here for you, brother. Thank you so much. I'm glad that. At least, you know, at least we got two people here. Two people and my Nightbot, who's always loyal to me. Ah, oh, my Nightbot. My Nightbot loves me so much. Okay, I'm going to have to square this off a little bit higher. And bring you up a little bit more. Bring you, I'm gonna merge you two thing, two guys together. Uh, bring you up. Bring you up. Bring you guys down. You maybe a little down. There we go. Now I'm gonna just uh, just make sure. Okay, all blue, so that's good. So. Suck if it was like all red again. It's like ever so often, you know, you gotta always double check because you don't get to pick where the vertices end end up. You know, sometimes. They'll be on the on the side that you need them to be. Sometimes they'll be on the side you don't need them to be. I was like, I don't know. So they they just have a, a mind all their own. But you know, so far so good. It's it's coming along. Star Wars movie we're not getting another Star Wars movie in like 10 years so the next time we get a Star Wars movie I will be 50 Probably will not have black hair anymore. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing is, is actually looking pretty good. Uh, just let's see the the duck mask again, because I want to make sure where this area, like how this is supposed to look right here. So I'm gonna take the head out. Okay, so. It's gonna it's supposed to mesh in all the way to the beak area, so this will, will be where the beak will end up going in the end. So we're gonna just uh, attach. We're gonna add some vertices. Oh. Gonna add some. We're gonna add some vertices here. So, and then we're gonna go here and here, and then we're gonna. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Gonna add E, 
go here. F. 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 You're both getting in it. Oh my god, that thing is stuck in my head. So far, not so bad, not too bad, not too bad. So let's see, I'm just gonna get here and see if I have any things that's not supposed to be here. Face. Okay, there are no tries that I need to make into quads, so we're good there. But yee, hold on, ooh, look at that, that's not good. See, this is why I like working with the mirror <laughs> tool, because everything I do on one side will happen right here on the other side. They always say it's the last movie when they really know it's not. Probably they need 10 years to figure out what the next story will be. Like, how, where do we go from here? Because now Skywalker is dead. Well. Not the actor, but you know the character. Skywalker's dead. Princess Leia's dead. Uh, well, the actress. The actress is dead. You know, the uh, the character Han Solo is dead. Like you, you got, yeah, Chewie from the you got the, for the original characters. You still have Chewie. You have um, Paulo. What is up? What's up, Paulo? How you doing? Smash that like button, buddy. Smash. I don't know why I keep pointing over here, because I'm looking at the screen over here, but you're over here. So what is up, Paolo? What is up? Smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, Paolo, hit subscribe. Now, right now we're working on some, you know, we're working on some Mighty Duck action here. Now, this is actually a commissioned piece. Uh, from a guy named BK Kato on uh, Facebook, you know We're adjusting it to an actual head of a, of a male uh, Just so you can see right here, you know, we actually have a male, you know, a male head right here So we know, you know, where it should go around, you know, get the where the beat should be You know, where it's gonna flow from there, so you know, you Let it flow, let it flow I don't know why I popped up with that, but I did. I am so sorry for those who hate that song already. Let it flow, let it flow. I know I'm burning your ears. Let it flow, let it flow. Catch the door. Yeah, so you know so far so good you know it's it's getting there it's a little different from here because you know this is a cartoon so I wanted to do the brow more along the head of a person and we can't do this sharp thing on the head because you know it's only supposed to match his head so I'm gonna match it to a person's head that you know could be snug a little bit right here you know and actually give it you know a little bit room for some padding you know so that way it doesn't dig into somebody's head you know, nobody wants uh, a cosplay prop to dig into their head. You know, who wants that? Who wants that? Nobody wants that. So bring this a little bit further down here.
Oop, wrong button again. I keep pressing the wrong button. It's E. getting there we're almost getting there you know little by little and we'll soon reach our allotted goal guys they're getting another message here somewhere Mask is really coming on strong. I think a dog a dog grabbed a cat. Or a cat grabbed a cat. Uh, so far so good, you know. Gonna, I think I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more and this up and then I'm gonna bring it out Thing was a little bit too forward so I had to bring it back a little bit getting there with the duck mask we're almost getting there
right, so far we're getting close. We're almost there. The mass is looking coming together. Yes, it is. It is. The mass is coming together. The mass is coming together. Yes. Now I'm just going to extend this over here. Let me attach this to here, 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 and here. There we go. F. There we go. And then just another one. And I'm going to have to adjust it from the front. That way I can give it a better shape. See? Obviously, we need to give it a more rounder shape. gonna do this so I'm gonna select these two go to my buy select here there obviously that does not match so we're gonna go here here there we go there we go oh there we go Not too shabby guys, not too shabby. This thing is coming out very nice. So, quick. N, mean crease, one. So. This thing is looking sexy. E for extrude. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, we're gonna just, just give it a little check on right here. We just check everything is still in the blue. Okay, everything's still blue. Okay. Too bad. I'm gonna have to try to smooth this section out a little bit at, at the end. So, but yeah. We're, we're getting like a duck mask here we got and then at the end you know we're gonna add some holes right here we're gonna add some holes right here what we're gonna do with that we're gonna use the boolean tool for that and so My God, that thing I, from from this angle, it actually looks like a freaking duck. My God, look at that! It looks 
Already looks more duck-like. At least a little bit. Oops, hold on. So far, we're almost near the end of the duck build. Not to be confused with build. And a half hours yet yeah, and only three people here <sighs> gotta figure out a way how to get more more people watching that's what we, we get find out how to get more people to watch I don't know we gotta figure that out I uh, gotta see get more interaction more people talking more conversating you know it's, if not the, the channels pretty much gonna be dead in the water you know that mean that means no more videos no more content no more builds no more nothing probably end up having to move all all this hard work all the way down to twitch don't tell youtube i said that It's looking beautiful. So let's see here. So we're gonna go here. All the way to here. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the ticket. So we're gonna go back to three. E move it up. Moving on up to the east side. We finally found a piece of the pie. I'm in down to the kitchen Cooking on cold on the grill Oop. I'm in fall to the big leaves So what's everybody doing? Cause everybody is quiet Everybody is very quiet.
<laughs> Look at that, guys. We are almost in the home stretch. Coming home to the big leagues. How do you make the file solid? Uh, there are two ways to make a file solid. You can actually use um, one of the modifiers with this solidify or you can actually take this same the same model that you make the same body and make a duplicate and change it into a inner shell and then you connect the pieces together you know but you got to be careful because sometimes you have to move it around a little bit just so you don't have it too thick and then some places you have it too thin so it takes a little bit because sometimes solidify will give you extrusions that the thickness will be poking out of another end and you don't want that uh, trust me I've had my share of that incident on more than one occasion and so and, and I don't like it I, I don't like that 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 one bit So now you know. The, so so far, this thing is looking pretty good, and we're almost at the the tip of the nose, or should I say, beak? Press E. Did it take you to practice modeling in Blender? Well, uh, I practiced bl modeling in Blender t two different times. Uh, the first time I did give up after like maybe about a, after like attempting three times, and I got so freaking frustrated because I couldn't find tutorials or anything. And then I started find, finding little tips here and there. And then my friend Robert uh, gave me ideas and told me about a certain things. So. I tried it one more time and I was like, if it doesn't work this time, that's it. Uh, so, 
luckily for me, the, the second time around it worked, and I've been doing this now for. Uh, I I guess I've been at this now for maybe about a month and a half, maybe. I've been I've been doing this for about a month and a half now. So I don't I, I don't think that I. I don't know if that's a, a long time or a short time because I did have somebody tell me is like when I said that I was modeling something and they told me like it took you that long it's like well I've only been working on it for I've only been modeling for like a, a short amount of time like I've only been at this for like a little less than a month and you know it's like they're like oh like, I was like, yeah, I was like, I've only been at this for about a month or so, and so I was like, I don't think I can go any faster um, in the amount of time that I've been working on this. Yeah, so, I, I don't know, you know, some people can do, obviously there are some people that can do this stuff, you know, uh, a lot faster. You know, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of those guys that can do th this stuff fa that fast compared to some other ones. You know, some other guys can just, you know, bust one out in, in hours. You know, it's like, I do not fit in that category, you know, of busting these things out in that short amount of time frame. You know, it's like, for me, I need a little extra time. You know, a little, little, little extra. And so, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You know. You know. I'm. I'm sure. You know. There are people, like I said, that can do this thing. With within, like maybe, like maybe a few five hours, maybe top. So I don't know. Well, this is my time frame. This is how long it takes me to do it. Oh, wrong button. So I'm probably gonna end up giving this thing like an an undershell. Probably gonna give this like give this thing an undershell. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. But can I still want to try to bring out some of the detail in a part of it? Well, we'll 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 see what we what we can come up with. This part is bugging me. This part is bugging me. So now, let's see here. Gonna need to bring this up, beak a little bit more, like down, I think. So I'm just gonna grab this, grab this.
on the road to glory. Yep, yeah, we're almost, almost there. So we're going to solidify this now. So, yeah, so far, so good. And it just needs like an under, because I'll show you what, what, um, what solidify does. All right, so we have solidify. We're just going to move it up and see. Just get a good look at the thickness right here. So, uh, let's say we want it this thick. So, right there, we have a pretty good thickness. And it fits right to the face and the thickness actually goes around here so it's pretty good so we, we started off with this picture I don't know why it's not showing All right, here we go So not too shy, we're probably going to bring this part up a little bit more, give it more of a pointed edge up here. You know, that way it doesn't look too much like a cheek on it, I'll give it a little more thickness right here. So let's just go back to go here, and we're going to go back there. Let's see. So, I want to just see how it looks in gold. I don't know why the whole thing got selected, but okay, this. here edit select the all go to the material Let's just select all the material here
just gonna paint this red so that way we can see what it looks like if the eye color was red. Because in the cartoon it was red, so. Look at that, in almost three hours, we did a Mighty Ducks mask that conforms to a person's face. Oh my god, look at, look at that thing. It is beyond gorgeous. All, we, all that's missing now are just to add the holes, which I'll uh, probably add on another day, because, uh, you know, it's like... Already been here for nearly three hours, so and I don't know what do you what do you guys think I should try to attempt next to build? And please don't say Iron Man stuff because I'm still not that advanced. I've only been at this for about a month and a half, so I am not that skilled yet. And an Iron Man thing on a live stream will take forever. You guys would never see the finished product. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we got to we got to see this duck bill. Kind of looks like a duck bill platypus. Huh? I'm talking to the people online. I'm just gonna leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed watching this build of this Mighty Duck mask. So, hope I see you in the next live stream. Uh, hopefully, it'll be sometime soon, preferably soon. Just bring some of this lighting up here so we can see how everything looks. Sandy, I hope I see you again soon. I know you're busy. You're busy. You're always busy. But I hope you guys have a nice Christmas and enjoy the holidays. I hope to see you again soon. And like I said, guys, if you guys want to participate in, you know, donating a, a little something to the channel to help me keep going and, you know, because I'm trying to save up to buy a new 3D printer because right now they have one again on sale for about $300. Uh, so I'm seeing if I can get a backup machine for that and to get some more filament because I only have two rolls left out of everything uh, because I had to throw away a couple because they were bad and they're supposed you know so like I have some stored away 
for pepper pots. So I have that stored away. I'm not I'm not touching that at all. So you know if you guys want to support, you know, go to coffee, make a donation, or you can go to PayPal and make a donation through there. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great weekend coming up and you have a wonderful and awesome Christmas. Uh, so happy holidays guys. Merry Christmas.